What's up, people? Hope you guys enjoyed that premiere last night. What a wild day. I never thought when I woke up that we would be rescuing a FedEx truck out of a ditch and then also Jerry out of the pond. Uh, luckily, Matt had his vehicle. It's four-wheel drive. He was easily able to pull that out. Uh, luckily, the FedEx truck didn't have any damage. Uh, the guys were pretty great. I think they actually uh, were going to subscribe to my channel. I told them, just y'all's luck. I said, I'm a YouTuber. I was about to end my video, and then we see y'all's truck stuck. So I got to add that to my video. But as you guys saw over here in the property, Jerry brought his tractor over. He was digging out the pond. He was starting a trench over here from the man cave all the way out to the barn. Unfortunately, we had a lot of rain last night, so let's check in and see what everything looks like. So this morning I dug out the pipe right here. This is over here by the man cave. Uh, this is where I put in the uh, faucet. This is where I'm gonna be tying in uh, from right here it's going to shoot over about four or five feet and then back towards the barn this ground was extremely hard as you saw jerry's tractor was struggling to uh pretty much dig this trench for us so i am very pleased with the way it came out it's going to be a lot of digging manually to clear all this stuff out that still beats having to go in and start from scratch but so yeah it's going to probably be about a two-day job to clear all this out if i hit it pretty hard matt will probably come out and help out as well but uh, yeah, I'm very pleased and very thankful that Jerry was able to come out here. I'm still debating on what I want to do here in the barn. You can see all the mud over here from all the rain we got last night. And then we get inside the barn here and it's just dry as can be. This right here is just, I mean, it's just solid. So this can be very hard to dig. So what I'm thinking instead of putting the, the plan was to put the uh, faucet back there in the corner I think I'm going to put it over here next to the uh, front of the barn. That way I can just hook up a water hose from here and run it straight to the pond back there. So, yeah, a lot of water here. Let's go check out the pond and see what kind of mess we have. So, unfortunately, with this uh, big rain we had last night, the pond is now becoming a pond again. I didn't want it to be full, but these were the ruts that uh, <laughs> Jerry had with his tractor. Those ruts are probably at least a foot deep, so that's how much water drained into this. So it's probably gonna take a while for all this stuff to, to seep out and uh, for it to dry up completely before we come back out here with the tractor again and dig it out. But um, I'm not in any rush. I do have troughs inside the barn now. I was letting the, uh, the pond dry up for quite a while, but unfortunately mother nature hit. So it's probably gonna be at least a month or so before we can probably dig this thing out completely. But uh, the goal is to have the berm because right now, before it was just over here, I want it to wrap around from that side all the way pretty much to where this post is. So hopefully it'll hold in water a lot better. Uh, we're going to dig it a little bit deeper and then we're going to go back in. And uh, Jerry and I were talking yesterday. We're going to get a, a black tarp or a black plastic that's real thick, kind of like Matt bought for the dog pond, but a little bit thicker. And uh, line the bottom of it and then go to Home Depot and pick up the... I think they come in like a, a ton or two ton of uh, pea gravel and put that in there as well. So it should hold water a lot better once we actually get that done. But for now, it's the waiting game for this little mud pit to dry up. I was hoping that I can continue talking and not work, but unfortunately I got to get this uh, trench dug out. So I'm probably gonna just do it throughout the day and just uh, put all the clips together. It's gonna be a ton of work plus a uh, like I said, it, it's very muddy, so it's going to get stuck to the shovel, and I'm working with a half-broken shovel, so we'll see how this goes. And this is what I meant with the half-broken shovel. This is a plastic pole. I should have bought a better one but it's split all the way up, so I would be very gentle with it. Most likely, I'm going to have to go buy a new one. Like I said, this is going to be a big task to have to try to complete. I'm not going to put the water lines down too far. I know, uh, let's see, when we put them into the house from the road, it wasn't about two feet deep or anything. It was only maybe, I don't know, a foot under the ground or so. 
and they never froze back under the ground. Uh, we had, whew, I'm already out of breath. We uh, had those temperatures, I think when we had that freeze, it was, I don't know, in the negatives and it never froze back. The only time it froze and busted the pipes was underneath the house because they were still exposed. So I'm not worried about it being uh, like too shallow. Plus it's just gonna be a lot of work and I don't think I could dig down about two feet the entire way. All right, so I've been digging out here for about 15 minutes now. I still need to dig uh, deeper right here. That's where his uh, tractor wasn't able to dig down as deep. But over here where it went deeper, I have it about a foot now. I probably trench maybe a total of uh, 10 feet so far. So once again, that's where I'm gonna tie in. Go over this way with a 90 and a shoot back towards the barn. I know some people are gonna ask, uh, are we gonna go ahead and put the electric in right now? The answer is no. Uh, first off, it's expensive to get wire right now. And second off, I'm going to trench from the uh, telephone pole that's back there straight back. So I'll have Jerry come back out with that same tool and just do a line straight across. I just don't have the money to do everything right now. Um, I don't get paid for another week or so. So basically I'm going to have to wait till then to even be able to buy all the materials for this. But I'm just trying to trench everything out and get it ready. While the ground is soft as it is, uh, it's probably not going to get any softer. So yeah, a lot of work. All right guys, so it's the next day. I did pick up some uh, PEX pipe as you see behind me. I got 150 feet. Hopefully that'll be enough. We'll find out here soon. The only thing I didn't pick up is the faucet out near the barn, but for now I did get to fix the fittings to uh, tie into the PVC pipe. I had to go to a fix and feed in Quinlan. They didn't have all the parts, so I had to go to Home Depot and uh, luckily they did, so I was able to get that. But yesterday I was able to trench a little bit further. Check out what I've done so far. Now it's not perfectly cleaned out, but you can see it's coming along. That's a lot of hand digging. Still going. Busy day yesterday. All the way up to about here. So I'm about halfway to the barn. Oh my goodness, I had to dig, stop, dig, stop, dig, stop, take a lot of breaks yesterday. Uh, like I mentioned in the earlier in the video, it's going to end up being a two-day project for this. And then what I'll do is I'll go back in on another video and do the actual plumbing. So, yeah, it's uh, going to be another busy day. At least the weather's a lot cooler. It said it's only supposed to be a 15% chance of rain, but there's a lot of clouds out today. Hopefully it'll hold off until I can get the stuff done. <laughs> So I got a little bit further. This uh, clay is no joke. Even though uh, Jerry had his tractor and uh, plowed up the line here, it's still very hard to get all this stuff cleared out. I know I'm gonna get some people commenting about uh, it should be deeper and stuff, but hell, if you want it deeper, come out here and help me. This thing is uh, about as deep as it's gonna get. Maybe a foot or so, a little bit over a foot. I'm totally fine with that. Like I said, it's uh, like that up there by the house too. Plus, it's going to be PEX piping, which is better than the PVC, so, yeah, I'm out of breath. It's exhausting. It's a lot of work. Uh, you would think just clearing out a little bit of dirt, I say a little bit, you would think just clearing out this dirt wouldn't be that hard, but oh my goodness. Y'all saw in the other video, if y'all watched it on the premiere last night, uh, Jerry's tractor kept getting stuck trying to plow through it, so uh, once again, I'm going to be uh, putting the faucet in. I decided out here. Oh my goodness right here that way i can run this uh water hose straight to the pond it should be a quick straight path let me get these wires out of the way freaking gopro but uh yeah it'll be a lot easier to dig right here uh, because over here it's just solid this is basically like cement over here <laughs> like that chunk right there 
yeah I'm not gonna be able to dig all that stuff so what I'm gonna do is put the faucet in here cut across about six feet and then make my way back that way this part right here is gonna be a nightmare to dig in just because it's still so wet I may not be able to finish this entire trench on this video but you can see right where the shovel is next to that tree I'm probably a uh, 55% done right now so I don't know how much more energy I'm gonna have today to be digging all this stuff but I'm gonna keep trying and then uh, if I can't finish it we'll just finish it on another video so unfortunately as I get near this tree I'm starting to hit some roots so I would say the next 10 feet or so is gonna be a little bit more shallow than the rest of it which I'm totally fine with I can't dig through all these roots so I'm gonna try to work around them as much as I can but yeah I knew this was gonna happen it unfortunate but hey it is what it is you got to deal with what you have and like I said, uh, if anybody wants to come out here and help me dig this deeper, you're welcome to come out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call this in a video. I'm getting a little frustrated with all these roots. Uh, the closer I got to the tree, the more there were. I got about 60% uh, done, maybe 65% done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just call it for now. I am a little tired, but what I'll do is I'll continue to work on this trench the rest of the weekend. Hopefully I'll have it all plumbed in uh, by the time you see the next video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the weekend off. I will be going live on Monday and then hopefully Tuesday I will have running water out to the barn. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.